Hi there. Today we've got a short video. It's on this Mastercraft planer. It uh, stopped working for me. It's about four years old and out of warranty by now and it just stopped working the same day I purchased this unit. I actually picked up the DeWalt unit first, then this planer got a little jealous and it stopped the cutting. I'll show you what it's doing here and turn it on in a second. Uh, the motor, electronics, everything seems to be good. But here what happens you can see is the rollers are running and nothing's happening to the cutter head. First we need to pull off the cover and see what's going on. These are fairly easy in a simple design, easy to work on. Uh, first things first, make sure you don't have it plugged in. And you remove the top handle with a hex key when I find the right one. And after the four bolts on the top cover are removed, it's another little bit larger hex key. And the pop top just pops off. And the sides just come off. After pulling the covers off, I found the problem almost immediately. Uh, let's move the camera over around to the other side here where the drive pulleys are. Sorry about the jumpy video. Um, I was just carrying it by hand. And that is supposed to be the drive belt. It's also supposed to be a lot bigger than that. And where's the rest of it? What it appears to be is that it has melted. So it's probably jumped off the track at some point and began to rub against the machine itself and melted itself away. You'd think I would have smelled it, noticed it, or anything, but it everything was cutting fine on it. it wasn't bogging down, didn't sound funny. So we're gonna take a quick look and see what's going on. First we're gonna just gonna turn it on. As you can see, the upper motor spins, the cutter head spins freely, and the two rollers also seem to spin properly as well. So it looks like we probably only need a drive belt. So here we are about a week later and here's what we found of the original belt and here is what it's supposed to look like. So we'll slip the belt on, do one rib at a time and just sort of turn it and push it on at the same time quite easy to install there's no tension or anything it just uh, it's just a snug fit next I'm gonna check the motor brush itself to see if I need to replace it it when I pulled it out it had very little wear on it probably because this thing hasn't had much use and I didn't replace it I just left the original one in lots of life left in that we're just gonna leave it put it back in put the cover on and then we'll test it out when I do first test the machine after doing any kind of repairs or anything, I prepare to just flip it on and off real quick, just in case something may break. We don't want any extra action or we don't want it to be running longer than it needs to be. And voila, seems to work. Seems to be back to normal. I plan to continue using this planer even though I've got the DeWalt now too. And we're going to use this one for all the rough boards and the DeWalt for all the finish planing. I have used the DeWalt since filming this video and I do have to say the blades do really suck on it. Within a day I had lines in the wood and all I was cutting or planing was really light passes on all clear wood. So. I have to concur with everyone else online to say that the blades on the DeWalt 
planers do suck. So the next upgrade is probably going to be a Shelix head for it. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you later.